You've got some guts showing up here. We don't have an issue. Until now. What it comes down to is you chose the wrong company in more ways than one. And now that decision is going to cost you your Intercontinental Championship. And how is that going to happen? One word. Omas. You don't stand a chance against him. I'm not scared of Omas. Name the time and place, and I'll be there. Hold up. There's no need to rush things. Let's get to know each other a little better. Do our due diligence. What makes you think you can just walk in here and make demands? Get in line. I'll remember that. In the meantime, keep running. At some point, we're gonna catch you. You change your mind about my proposal? Face Carmelo Hayes in a non-title match? Then you get Omas. I think you mean Omas gets me. And he's going to get a lot more than he can handle. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, Gabe, you know the deal. I want you out there for this match to make sure the Hurt Business doesn't get involved. Got it. Wait, do you really think that's necessary? I can handle myself fine. And what's the worst that can happen anyway? A DQ and I get some shots in on MVP and Omas? Or they get some shots in on you and weaken you before your title match against Omas. Come on, use your head. Gabe, you're going out there with him for that match. I don't want to hear another word. Come on, let's go.
It's the future of WWE, The Lock. And he's a... The Lock and Carmelo Hayes are squaring off tonight in a hotly anticipated non-title match between two superstars destined for greatness. The Lock has more than just his IC title with him tonight, as Gabriel Slade will be joining him at ringside. Is Randy Orton losing trust in Lock's ability to get it done all by himself? Or maybe he sent Gabe out to keep an eye on MVP? It's hard to get inside the mind of the Viper. And Lock got turned around there. Up to the outside. Oh, my God, Hilo! Just a devil-may-care attitude on full display. Going for broke, and it pays off. Right to the face. My God. Three. He's heading back to the ring. Something. Firm control. Oh, oh my gosh! He's lost some of his win now. He had to be prepared to take some damage tonight. A knee right to the face. Locke might be looking to fly. Watch out! Oh, misses the mark. Wow, just going for the cover. And he kicks out. Maybe just testing the waters with that one. <laughs> Solid contact across the chest. <laughs> to the midsection. Oh, man. Ouch. Oh, my forearm smash. So perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. Never a doubt. Barely a moment suspense. Let's get this out of the way. I know you didn't want Gabe out there for your last match, but this is too big to risk anything. So I'm gonna be in your corner to make sure you hold on to your title. I appreciate the support, but I'm confident I can win this on my own. Besides, you said I was the next version of you. Let me live up to that for once. Our goal in Evolution is to hold championships, and we do that by any means necessary. So I'm not saying you need me to win, but I'm gonna be out there to make sure it happens. You know Hurt Business will be doing the same thing. We'd be stupid not to. Look, I realize they have numbers just like us, but I know I can handle myself. So I'm asking both of you to just stay in the back. No one's gonna think any less of you if you have someone in your corner. Gabe's right. This isn't the time to prove a point. So why are we even having this conversation? Gabe would say whatever you wanted him to, but I'm not like that. Yes, we're part of a team, but I'm a future world champion. The Phenom, right? So I need to prove to you and myself that I can do this. 
That evolution isn't some kind of crutch propping me up. You said I could trust you when I joined Evolution, and now you need to trust me on this. Message received. You clearly know what's best for you. Good luck. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Kick. Introducing the... What a right to the lock as he stands alone without his Evolution teammates to defend his Intercontinental title against the biggest threat the Hurt Business has to throw at him, Omos. I like what you did there, Cole. No two ways about it. Omos is a gigantic weapon, unlike anything else that exists in all of WWE. Omos may be over seven feet of ferocity, but don't forget about MVP and Carmelo Hayes, who can make their presence known at any time tonight. Right, that's it. Time, yeah. Oh my! Yeah. Inflicting pain at will. And landing with the double axe oh, handle. Oh, Reversal! What a counter! Omos able to counter. What a shot. Into the corner. This can't be good. He's returning fire. Face wash. Everything working against Omos now. A killer instinct from the lock is shining through. Hammering down on the knee. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. Oh, and a stomp. Oh, stomping away. It's been a wild year, but it's great to be back on Raw. No, Wild doesn't even scratch the surface, Cole. Let's just focus on this match tonight. And Locke gets surprised there. Momentum isn't completely out of Omos's side just yet. He weathered the storm and wants to create a flurry of his own. And it has got to be demoralizing just being tossed outside the ring like that. Well, they can worry about their feelings later. Right now, they're making sure every bone... Look out! Somersault plunge out of the floor. It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. From the top! Nice handle! And he does, but the referee got taken out. 
Can the champion capitalize on this opening? MVP making his presence known. Well, it looks like the Hurt Business are the ones who are going to capitalize. Choke slam down to the mat. The referee's coming to. One, two, three. He did it. We have a new giant intercontinental champion. Ultimately, the combined effort of the Hurt Business is too much for the lock to handle, which makes you wonder. Where was Evolution? And now MVP in the Hurt Business are taking it to the former champion. Again, where is Randy Orton? Where is Gabriel Slate? Their teammate just got beat down. Let's not lose sight of the fact that we have a new Intercontinental Champion in Omas. But I agree, there's definitely something off with Evolution. Where's Orton and Slate? They were just heading back towards your locker room. Hey, what the hell was that all about? Where were you? You told us to stay in the back. Remember? Yeah, I said stay in the back for the match. But then, in case you missed it, the Hurt Business attacked me. I could have used some backup there. Can we get some privacy? No, I want everyone to see this. What's your deal? Were you trying to send me some kind of message? Actually, we were on our way out to help you, but I got overruled. By who? Me. What? I've heard people say I'm a follower. That I lack killer instinct. That it's held me back my entire WWE career. Huh. I'm done with all that. I made the call to stay in the back. I trusted you. We were teammates even before all this evolution stuff. Teammates? You've never cared about me or anyone else. Every decision you've made has been to benefit you and your career only. Getting me involved in that stupidity with the New Day was a wake-up call. And then your stubbornness against the Hurt Business only cemented who you are. It cost you your title. But that hurts all of us. So explain why we should go out of our way to help you. This is ridiculous. Just like always, you're just saying all this because you know it's what Randy wants to hear. No, I'm saying it because it's the truth. I tried to let you do things on your own, and you failed. Repeatedly. What's next? You gonna bring down our whole group with you? So maybe I was wrong from the start. Maybe Gabe is the future world champion in evolution. Let's face it. You're not the lock. You're the weak link. I don't need you or evolution. I never did. I'm better off on my own. I quit. Good. Clear your stuff out. I don't want to see you again. So, since we last caught up, you got into a fight with New Day over a video game cover, lost your Intercontinental Championship, and then quit Evolution. String of bad luck, or all part of the plan? All part of the plan. You might be hearing Orton and Gabriel spin about how I was the weak link, but really, they were the dead weight, which is why I got rid of them. I realized I didn't need to be a part of some retread faction to get ahead. I'm bigger than that. I can win the WWE Championship on my own, and that's what I plan on doing. 
Well, I certainly believe in you, but what's next? I know I'll become WWE Champion, but some... And it's been holding me back way more than Evolution ever did. So what's next? I'm going to confront this issue head on in front of the entire WWE universe. Former Intercontinental Champion, The Lock, has requested this time to address the WWE Universe. Now he certainly has a lot to address. Let's be real. I haven't had the best run lately. Most notably, I lost a couple things. My Intercontinental Championship, and then my faction. But this wasn't how things were supposed to go, right? You all heard and saw the endless hype. I was brought in to WWE as the next big thing, a future world champion. And of course, the lock. It worked for a while, but let's be honest, it felt forced from day one. I never was truly comfortable with what I was asked to do. And when it comes down to it, these recent setbacks were just a result of those early decisions that were out of my hands and way above my pay grade. What I'm saying is, I was set up to fail by WWE management, and especially VP of Talent Development, Shawn Michaels. Let me shoot with you. Shawn was behind all of this from the start, forcing one bad decision after another. So, HBK, I want you to come out here right now so we can talk man to man, face to face. Strong words from the lock. Yeah, he better be careful here. And Shawn Michaels apparently has chosen to come out and respond to these claims. This is a situation that might be better handled off camera, behind closed doors, not in front of the entire WWE Universe. He doesn't look too happy to be put on the spot like this. I heard everything you said, and I'm willing to talk. But you know this isn't the time or the place. This is exactly the time and place. I want everyone to hear how you've mishandled my career since the day I got here. Stop. Now. No. I've played by your rules, but I'm not going to trust the process any longer. From now on, I do what I want to do. That's what got me here in the first place. My voice, my instinct, my talent. You and your corporate yes-men have tried to stifle that every chance you got. Okay. You really want to do this? We've heard your side of things. Here's mine. A.K.A. The truth. All you've done is complain since day one. Thinking you know everything. Like when you chose to drop your special lock entrance after one match. And then you dropped your custom attire right afterwards. You know how much time and money was invested in all of that. And you never gave any of it a fair shot. But there's no change in your mind because you're too stubborn to listen to people who actually know the ins and the outs of this business. The same people who tried to set you up for success, who wanted nothing but the best for you. Hold on. The best for me? Give me one example of something you did to help me. Come on, name one thing. Okay, let's get it all out there. When things weren't going as expected, I went to Randy Orton and MVP and convinced them to start factions, to try to get you back on track. That's how much we believed in you, that we were willing to stick our necks out for you. But 
I guess that's all stifling and setting you up for failure, right? You said they wanted me. Yeah, because I knew feeding your ego would be the only way to get you to agree to do it. But even that didn't work, because you couldn't learn to cooperate and quit, throwing away an opportunity that everyone in the back would kill for. So I have one final thing to say to you. Don't you ever confuse potential with success. Because you might have all the potential in the world, but it doesn't mean anything if you can't get out of your own way. Stop complaining and blaming everyone else and do something for once. You want me to do something? Is that what you want? Show me some respect! Sean just took a very awkward fall there and hit the steel steps hard on his way down. I don't think that was intended, but things just took a very bad and unexpected turn. I think he was just trying to get Sean's attention, and it backfired. Officials, including Michael's good friend Triple H, have arrived to check on Sean. Probably best for him to just leave and let things cool down. You're fired! Did Shawn Michaels just say he's fired? I think I heard that too. Wow, I can't believe that just happened. This has gotten way out of hand. We just hope Sean's okay. We've got a ton of moves to capture before our special guest arrives, so let's get through this as quickly as possible. We need footage of a top rope move. Come on, let's see what you got. What time does the My Ride crew get here? They're such a hassle to deal with. Oh, did I say that out loud? My bad. Let's see a submission hold. Don't tap him out though. Just need a shot of the actual hold. Always a pleasure working with you, Cole. By the way, tell Buzz to hi. Give me a pin attempt. Can be any kind. Just make sure the match doesn't end. We need to get more footage. One. All right, taunt your opponent. Now taunt the imaginary crowd.
a lot. I know you were a big time WWE superstar, but act like you want to be here. Give me an Irish whip in any direction. I don't care. All right, pick up a weapon and use it. Sorry, Cole. Let me see your best heavy combo. Pretend Cole is Shawn Michaels. Yeah, that's it. Really let him have it. Okay, might as well get some more combo footage. Give me a light one. Friendly reminder to all town and crew, please only use three squares of toilet paper. We have sensitive plumbing here. Ooh, we haven't had a session like this since the one for 2K20. Yikes. Well, we're here. Might as well get footage of a grab attack. Go nuts. You know what? Just do whatever you want. Why am I even here? See why WWE fired you. You can't take a simple direction. Let's keep things simpler. Just damage the heck out of Cole. Again, sorry Cole. I know it's weird with no audience, but I don't know. Pretend this is WrestleMania at the Performance Center. Come on, mix it up a bit. You've already got enough footage of that move. Let's focus on getting some defensive footage. How about a dodge? Jason in gameplay keeps bugging me to get more reversal animations. So execute a reversal so Jason will leave me alone. Hit a signature move while you're at it.
You look great. I mean, not really. No one can look good in a cap suit, but your moves look great. Hey Cole, remind me when you're done to talk to you about this guy Baron Blade who keeps texting me for mocap work. Says he's your friend, but he seems like a real weirdo. Give me a finisher and hurry it up. It's almost lunch. All right, let's wrap this up soon. I just got word that our VIP guests have arrived. One, two, it's over, hit the bell. Wait, what in the world is this? Is that my old buddy, The Lock, doing mocap for WWE 2K? <laughs> it wasn't that long ago when you thought you should be on the cover of the game, and now you're here pretending to be a WWE superstar? Talk about a fall from grace. This is amazing. What the hell are you doing here? Maybe you can't afford to watch premium live events anymore, but I just won this Money in the Bank briefcase. So I requested that my briefcase motions be captured accurately by me and not left to the interpretation of uncoordinated losers like yourself. The same uncoordinated loser who beat you repeatedly? Funny. Oh, and look, I even have WWE here to document the whole thing. Remember when you used to have a camera following you around? <laughs> the irony is off the charts. Hey, hope you're doing okay. I always believed in you. That's enough. You're here to film me, not speak to the extras. Okay, you, you can leave now. I need to shoot my part so I can fly to the next show, you know, the life of a busy, successful WWE superstar. All non-essential talent, please clear the ring. Thank you. All right, let's settle into a T-pose. Mocap ready, position. Action on your briefcase victory scene. Great, excellent. Now up to the corner, please. You think you're better than me? Huh? Answer me! Cut! Cut! That's enough! Where's security? Come on! Let's do this! Let's go! I should have sued you before, but now I am definitely going to. Let me go. This was assault, and it's all on camera. Get off of me. You haven't seen the last of me. Actually, I think we have. You're fired. Again. Bye. Sorry, Sammy. Let's take a break, and we'll continue when you're ready. No, no break. Let's just do this. Make sure you cut all that out, okay? Should we wake him up? Yeah, I'll think he's got enough beauty rest. Oh, what the? Morning, sunshine. Oh, what's going on here? Since you never return any of my messages or calls, I had to come see you in person. You flew all the way over from the UK? I couldn't just sit back and watch you throw your life away. And since you're impossible to reach, I got in touch with this lovely lady. Am I allowed to say that? Hmm, I'll allow it. Anyway, she's been following you around for the past six months. I knew what was really going on with you more than anyone. We agreed you weren't in a good place and needed help. 
This really isn't necessary. I'm fine. Seriously. I've just hit a bit of a rough patch. That's all. A rough patch is when you lose your keys, causing you to miss a blind date, and your cat gets sick. Of course, you find out the reason your cat's sick is because they swallowed your keys, but that's a personal experience, so we're getting off track. Point is, you've thrown away everything you worked so hard for. And then yesterday, you got fired from the mocap gig. Yeah, and I had my flight booked way before that. You've been a mess for a while. I didn't throw everything away. It was... complicated. But if it gets you two to stop, I'll admit, I've had better days. More like better months. So you got knocked down at Pega 5. All that matters now is how you respond. And when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, there's a whole world of wrestling out there for you to build yourself back up, be everything I know you can be, and show WWE what they're missing. You're right. I've let things spiral out of control. I'm ready to get back on track. Great. And I'll be right there with you every step of the way. Really? Got nothing better to do. Okay. I'm confused, though. Why are you here, Kat? I told you I believed in you. And besides, I can't just start a project and leave it half finished, especially when it's going to have an awesome comeback story. And hey, even if you crash and burn, that'll be great too. For me and the doc, not necessarily for you. All right. We're at an airport. Where to first? The loo. This coffee ran straight through me.
on my flight over here, I was thinking about how we met. You couldn't stand me. Said I should quit wrestling and go back to where I came from. Well, that wasn't very helpful, was it? I was actually thinking of what happened after that. You wrestled on some shows I was promoting, and you were impressive as hell. However, there was one thing you always churned down. The bartender at the pub? You were constantly trying to set me up with her, but she was like 75. No, no, not that. I mean, I always refused to do a British rules match. And by the way, Amelia passed away last year. God rest her soul. <sighs> Those matches are super restrictive. Way too many rules for my style. I like to do my own thing. And how is that working out for you? As a lesson to be learnt from working within a structure. Okay, Shawn Michaels. Look, I see what you're getting at. But I don't think you can relate to what happened to me in WWE. Really? When I was in WCW, they asked me to wear a stupid robe and wig and be the stereotypical blue blood British guy, and I refused. You know who they asked next? Triple H. He turned out okay, didn't he? Sometimes you have to learn how to play within the system. And trust the process, right? Not what I was going to say. For sure. What I learnt is, you can wear the wig for a bit and then you can always take it off. But at least, it gave it a fair shot. So what you say, we head over to the UK and you finally compete in a British rules match. Prove to me, you're ready to wear the wig. I'm not saying I'll never try one, but I have some other comeback goals I'd like to focus on. So let's hold off for now. Fine. You're calling the shots. Speaking of shots, if we're not getting on a flight right away, I'm headed to the airport pub. Let me know when you've decided what's next. Did you reconsider finally doing a British rules? I think I'm ready. Mostly. Not quite the enthusiastic. How are you feeling? Did you knock off that pesky jet lag? Yeah, and I know British rules matches can be grueling, but I'm ready to give one a shot. I hope you're ready to give more than one shot. What do you mean? This is actually a British rules tournament, as in... I agreed to do one, not an entire tournament. I know you wouldn't have come over here if you found out yet. I'm already regretting this. Oi, suck it up! You're gonna be fine.
Okay, Tavish isn't around. What'd you think of what he did to get you over here? Not surprised at all. Tavish means well, but he'll lie his butt off if he thinks the situation calls for it. Does the fact that this is a tournament change your approach? Now that I'm here, I'm not going to take the easy way out. If I have to compete in three of these British rules matches to win the tournament, then that's what I'm going to do. It could really help kickstart my comeback. This is awkward, but I wanted to seem cool. I honestly have no idea what a British rules style match is. It's been around forever here in the UK. The matches are two out of three falls and there's no leaving the ring or top rope moves allowed. Got all that? Uh, yeah. D uh, definitely. Bottom line, it's going to be very tough to win this tournament, especially since it's all taking place in one night. Nonetheless, I'm just happy to be out of the WWE bubble, and no matter how it goes, I look forward to getting out there and being myself.
Look who wore the wig. <laughs> and you're gonna get to wear it some more. It wasn't bad, I guess. Actually, kind of fun. Well, your next opponent is gonna be tougher. But the important part is that you're learning to get outside your comfort zone. And if you manage to win the match, even better. You have any kind of scouting report on this next guy? Oh, no, I didn't catch his last match. Some fans bought me a pipe. Nice blacks. Oh, no, I didn't catch his last match. Some fans bought me a pipe. Nice blokes. So, how did you know he's tougher, then? Made it up. Seemed like a coach thing to say. Anyway, I'm headed back for another free round. Good luck.
I'm Thanks, but why are you wearing your old rest? No. Well, it's not a bad idea. Could make some extra bread. Seriously. Well, we couldn't send a fan home without a tournament winner now, could we? Besides. Congrats. So, so what do you say? You versus me, bro. All right.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>